Hi everybody. Um, I said that I would make a follow-up video to show you exactly how I apply my rosemary tonic. And this is the applicator bottle I put it in. After it cools off, I, you know, I said in my demonstration video that it would turn purple, but it's more of an amber. My friend that turned me on to rosemary tonic washed his hair every day. Okay, I mean, he didn't have that much hair, right? So... <laughs> So it's easy for him to wash it every day. But I'm going to wash my hair every three days and apply this and uh, wear my hair in a wash and go. I'm going to show you exactly how I apply it, how long I keep it on my scalp, and how I rinse it off. So um, just stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to first wash my hair. I don't use shampoo. I only use conditioner, which they call co-wash, conditioner wash. So that's what I'm going to do first and just get all the grime off of my um, scalp. Then I make sure I rinse all of the conditioner off, at least off of my scalp. I make sure my scalp is completely clear. Then I take my applicator bottle with the rosemary tonic in it and I apply it to my scalp. Now I am drenching my scalp and I'm going to comb it through a little bit, although it's not for the hair. It's for the scalp. You want to make sure that you saturate your scalp. And of course, be sure to saturate your hairline. I'm going to use about half of the bottle. Then I just take a few seconds to massage the liquid into my scalp as much as possible. And then I tie up my hair. And then I proceed to finish my shower. So after I've finished my shower, I'll say five minutes or so because I do shower fast. <laughs> after about five minutes or so, then I rinse out the rosemary rinse. Hopefully most of it has gone into my scalp, okay? But whatever is, whatever residue is there, I make sure I rinse it all out. So that's it, and then I just braid my hair. Um, I'm probably gonna uh, put some twist in later on and call it a day. Thanks for watching.